another station which needs uh, no introduction here is the uh, the infamous Russian buzzer uh, sign Uniform Zulu Bravo UZB um, I've forgotten temporarily offhand uh, where it transmits from but I will uh, put a, a note on the video to uh, to inform you all and uh, this beacon comes in solidly every night here in the UK this uh, station is located in uh, North Devon in the southwest of the United Kingdom and this is only being received on 20 meters of, uh, of long wire. UZB again uh, is often uh, some form of channel marker um, its exact purpose is, uh, is debated um, the station, uh, as well as sending this constant buzzing tone, uh, occasionally has uh, has voice messages transmitted in Russian. Um, I have received a handful myself over the last few years. They become more common certainly in the last year or two. Um, in the past, many many months could go by without anyone intercepting a message. But I think certainly this last year or so, they they have come with relative frequent uh, frequency. But uh, this is a uh, UZB, the, uh, the infamous Russian buzzer. Uh, it's perhaps interesting to note, um, from analysis of various received transmissions from this station, it's apparent that this buzzing modulation is not applied to the transmitter from some tone generator, but instead is from a speaker or similar placed in front of an open microphone. Um, which always makes the station interesting to listen to because quite a few of the uh, the message transmissions have been accidental. They've been voices in the background, um, phones ringing and uh, phone conversations being heard and that sort of thing. So uh, this station is a little bit of a mystery. Um, I believe off my head it's running about 5 kilowatts from a site uh, roughly 20 miles north of Moscow and uh, this is the, uh, the infamous uh, UZB as being received here on the wireless set number 19 mark 3 thank you